Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel called Statistics from A to Z, Confusing Concepts Clarified. These videos are based on content from my book of the same name, which is published by Wiley. For more information on the book and these videos, please visit statisticsfromatoz.com. This video is the second in a playlist on variation in populations. The playlist is also planned to include individual videos on variance, standard deviation, and standard error. For variation in processes, a different playlist with these four videos is planned. Statistical Process Control, Control Charts Parts 1 and Part 2, and Process Capability Analysis. See statistics from a to z.com slash videos for the latest status of my videos completed and planned. As usual in the book and in these videos, we'll go quickly through a list of keys to understanding, or KTUs, to give you the overall picture on one page. And then we'll go into detailed explanations of each of the keys. For this video, there are four keys to understanding. The first KTU tells us that a deviation is the difference from a single data value to a specified value. Each individual deviation is squared. The total of the squares is a sum of squares. The second KTU states an average sum of squares is a variance. The third key says ANOVA uses sum of squares between groups, SSB, and within groups, SSW. Their respective means, MSB and MSW, are variances. The fourth KTU states, in regression, there are sums of squares regression, sum of squares error, and sum of squares total. And here on one page are the four keys to understanding the concept of sum of squares. You may wish to pause the video to read them all together. Key to understanding number one tells us that a deviation is the difference from a single data value to a specified value. Each individual deviation is squared, and the total of the squares is a sum of squares. Here are some examples. Commonly, a deviation is, di is the difference from a single data value, x, to the mean, x bar. In regression with xy pairs of data, for a given value of x in the data, we calculate the difference between its value for y and the value of y on the regression line or curve for that value of x. And a squared deviation for a single data value of x would be the quantity x minus x bar squared. For the regression value of y, it would be the quantity y minus y sub r squared. And if we add up all the squared deviations of a given type, we get a sum of squared deviations, also known as a sum of squares. The value of a sum of squares is highly dependent on the number of data points in the data set. Let's compare three samples of sizes 2, 10, and 100. And let's say they all have the same average squared deviation, 9. Now, reading the columns vertically, for the sample size of 2, the sum of squared deviations would be 18. For the sample size of 10, it would be 90. And for the sample of size 100, it would be 900. We can clearly see that while the, the sum of squares does contain information about the variability of the data in the samples, it is not a very useful measure of variability. That is why sums of squares are usually used as interim steps in calculations rather than as measures of variation themselves. So, although this video will give an overview of the concept, there will be more specifics in its application in other videos, as we'll mention here. Now, how do we get rid of this distortion caused by the size of the data set? We need to take some kind of average of a sum of squares in order to get a useful measure of variation. 
Note that we said average, not mean. There are different kinds of sum of squares, and there are different ways to calculate this, quote, average. As key to understanding number two says, the, quote, average of, of sum of squares is a variance. There will be a separate video on variance, but here is how we calculate the average of the squares in the sum of squares for population or process and for a sample. For a population or process, we divide the sum of squares by capital N, the number of items in the population or process. For a sample, we divide the sample size, we divide by the sample size minus one. KTU number three says, ANOVA uses sums of squares between groups, SSB, and within groups, SSW. Their respective means, MSB and MSW, are variances. This is explained in more detail in the article in the book and in the video, ANOVA Part 204, How It Does It. But briefly, as we'll see in the next slide, ANOVA uses these two specialized types of sum of squares to capture information on different types of variation. Sum of squares within SSW is the sum of the variations, as expressed by the sums of squares, within each of several data sets or groups. The illustrations at the bottom of the slide are not numerically precise, but they conceptually portray the sum of squares as the width of the meaty part of a distribution curve, the part without the skinny tails on either side. Sum of squares within is the sum of the variations, as expressed by the sums of squares, within each of several groups. Here, SSW equals SS sub 1 plus SS sub 2 plus SS sub 3. In addition to sums of squares within, ANOVA has sums of squares between and sum of squares total. Sum of squares between is a measure of variation between or among data sets. For each data set, we calculate the deviation from its mean, x bar, to the overall mean of all the data points in all the data sets. SSB is the sum of n times each of these deviations. And finally, sum of squares total, SST in ANOVA, is equal to SSW plus SSB. KTU number four says, in regression, there are sums of squares regression, sum of squares error, and sum of squares total. Sum of squares total, SST, measures all the variation in the, in the variable Y. Sum of squares regression, SSR, is that part of the total variation in the Y variable, which is explained by the regression line or curve. Sum of squares error is that part of the total variation in Y which is not explained by re the regression line or curve. So SST equals SSR plus SSE. We'll, we'll use data to calculate SSE and SST. Then we'll subtract SSE from SST to give us SSR. Sum of squares error, SSE, is the sum of the square deviations of the data values of the variable y to the regression line or curve. In this very simple example, there are only three data points in our sample. These are illustrated by the three black dots. Reading from the top down, the data points have x, y values of x equals 1 and y equals 6, and then x equals 1 and y equals 2, and then x equals 0 and y equals 1. The regression line is defined by the formula y equals 3x. There is no error for the point at the top, 2 comma 6. It is on the regression line of y equals 3x. The black dots of the other two points, 1, 2, and 0, 1, are each one unit away from the regression line. So their error is 1, and their squared error is also 1. And the sum of these squared errors, SSE, is 0 plus 1 plus 1, which equals 2. The sum of squares total, SST, is the sum of the squared deviations of the data values of the variable y to the mean of y. 
As shown as black dots on the vertical graph on the left, our three data points had y values of 1, 2, and 6. They are also shown in the first column of the, the table in the middle. 1 plus 2 plus 6 equals 9 divided by 3 gives us a mean value of 3 for the y variable, as stated in the top row of the table. The middle column of the table calculates the three deviations from this mean, negative 2, negative 1, and 3, and the right column of the table shows the squared deviations, 4, 1, and 9. This is also illustrated in the diagram to the right of the table. The sum of the squared deviations is 4 plus 1 plus 9, equals 14. This is SST, the sum of squares total. The sum of squares regression, SSR, equals SST minus SSE. The sum of squares total, SST, is the total variation in the variable y from its mean. Sum of squares error, SSE, is that part of the total variation which is not modeled by the regression line or curve. SST and SSE are calculated from the data, as shown on the previous slides, and then sum of squares regression, SSR, is that part of the variation in y which is modeled by the regression line or curve. By de definition, we know that SST equals SSE plus SSR, so we calculate SSR from SST and SSE. SSR equals SST minus SSE. Okay, that concludes our clarification of the concept of sums of squares. If you like this, this video, please remember to press the thumbs up like button on your screen below. I'll be making more videos of some or most of the 60 plus concepts in the book if folks like you tell me that more videos are wanted. Please subscribe to this channel to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Also, the website statisticsfromaetoz.com has a listing of available and planned videos. Now videos like this one can be very helpful, but they're not very handy when you want to quickly look up something on the job while studying or during an open book exam. For that, nothing beats a book or an ebook. You can also learn more about those on the website. I'd recommend following my blog at statisticsfromaetoz.com slash blog. I've got some things there that hopefully you will find interesting like a statistics tip of the week series, as well as posts showing that you are not alone if you're confused by statistics. I'll also be posting on the Facebook page, Statistics from A to Z, and on Twitter as at Stats A to Z.